Okay, so quick update on my plastic. Um, it doesn't seem to want to um, slump at all. I've kind of set one of the pieces on fire about three times and I have nothing else hot enough to try to melt it, so... Because it's going to have to stay flat. But I think I can still work with it. I was just hoping that this was another thing I could try out and unfortunately didn't work, but didn't know unless I tried, so at least we know. Uh, if you know of any other way of trying to slump, like not melt it, but you know, heat it up so it starts moving. I don't want it to melt, but I can't think of anything right now, so if you know, let me know. So what I have done though, is I have um, mocked up some pictures of my pieces on the square leather, like the little banner type leather, and the uh, more freeform leather, and tried them different ways around on studs. But they're all on studs at the moment, but they could be on hooks as well, but I'll just quickly, shall we get into it, and I'll show you the pictures. Hit that slideshow music. realized that the studs kind of don't work at the moment because the thickness of the plastic and the leather with the studs you can buy means there's no room for the ear to actually like the earlobe so I mean I could still do them but I'd have to make them and that would take unless anybody knows of any that sell slightly longer backs I haven't found them myself I could still make studs, but it would mean I'd have to solder, like make them all myself and solder little bits on and then cut little grooves in each one. And that's just going to like ramp up the time so much in taking to make them. And I was quite liking more longer earrings, like more hook type earrings, because it means they move a bit easier. There's a bit more motion to the piece, which is quite nice, I think. And so. I started off with like a simple hook because I thought this sort of matches a lot of the shapes and I put an eye on it and then a jump ring however with the round jump ring the pieces don't want to sit very well they sort of splay out and so after a few tests of doing a bit of straight with round I came to doing just square ones and I have got pictures of these that like the square bit and my preferences but I'll get around to that in a second and so I did this because it gives a lot of room for the pieces to move like there we go it moves quite a lot it, I also think the fact that it's a bit square and then a bit smooth as well sort of matches a lot of the shapes inside the pieces which I really like as well and they just I think it just suits it very nicely it's very simple it doesn't 
subtract from the piece at all, I don't think. But I'm probably going to go for that, but let me know what you think, if I should still do the studs or if I should go for these. Also, I'm leaning towards doing this with these two, rather than the other way around. And also, putting this one this way around, although I need to put a hole in here. And putting this one this way up, because I just seem to prefer them that way round. Again, let me know what you think. I have the wire and everything ready to make them, but I was going to see if anybody had any suggestions, comments on what I could do, maybe? If I could do anything different, um, things to think about, maybe I just haven't thought about something and you know of something that I could do. And so I'm going to cut this video or try and keep it fairly short. I don't think I've forgotten anything there. So yeah, let me know what you think of the way the pieces look at the moment. The square hook idea. If I should still do studs, let me all know. You can leave a comment down below or find me on Twitter or Facebook. And I shall see you next time. Sparks out.